Yo, it's what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Storm Sage, coming to you with the part two of the Legends Arceus gameplay. And I picked up my PlayStation controller, uh, but um, welcome back, my fellow sages of the village hidden in the mountains. And we are going to be going ahead and jumping right back into the gameplay. Um, if you guys like that first video, please drop a subscribe or a like on this video. And let's go ahead and hop right back into it. So let's go ahead and talk to her. I think we got to catch this Bidoof. So I think the X button here. Oh, I got to fight it first, huh? Okay, let's do leafage. Okay. Oh, roll out. Yeah. It's going to be doing that old do uh, another leafage and then we can catch it. Boom. Hit him with that leafage. Roll out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So you will die if you don't. Um... Yeah, you will die <laughs> if you don't. Hopefully I'll catch it. We'll see if she heals me. She might not heal me. She might not heal me after this. Oh, got it. I like how the animation isn't super long either. That's pretty sweet. All right, we got Bidoof, easy money. You caught a Bidoof, well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. All right, Akari. I wanna call her Atari. Akari, Atari 64. All right, next one. Now, I gotta remember if I need to heal. There's a Starly, they're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Ooh, so we got we to gotta sneak up on this boy. Let's go ahead and get to it. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Crouching down. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouch low, it'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. All right, let's check it out. Let's do it. Where is it? Is it behind this rock? First first off, yeah. First off, um, let's go here. ZL. Why is it all the way at the bottom? Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, the hill roll it up. Oh, you got to use potions on. Okay. I like it. Just like old times. So, uh, okay. Okay, but where's Starly at? Where is it? I don't even see it. Oh, there it goes. Very quiet. We're in the grass. Very quiet. Easy money. Yeah, those throws are crucial, man. That Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Let's go. Let's do it. Is there any like super runs? I guess not. Not yet, right? I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's a proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. I bet she is. By throwing your po Try throwing your Pokemon ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, they'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Let's go. We want Shinx anyway. Orange berries, okay. Can you just like straw? I don't really want to let me do it. Oh, okay. 
Can you throw it at the rocks? There, that's Shinx. Oh, there it goes. Let's go. Let's catch it. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. All right, let's see. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any Pokeball you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it is picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they absorb with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Starting Pokemon battles. Easy to start a, Pokemon, uh, start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. You can see that you currently have an item ready to throw. Now to Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your throw items and your Pokemon team. I figured that out already. But thank you. Oh, Shinx. Oh, Shinx, he's ready. All right, we're all at. Let's go. Uh, let's hit him with that Leafage. This is a bad matchup. Mm -hmm. Quick attack. Ooh, okay, no thunder attacks yet. Level two. Whoa. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Got to hold the ground. One no more gust. Get it low. Probably going to do that, huh? Oosh. Hook attack. Items. Hook ball. When you're in battle, you don't have to aim, huh? Get it? Get in that ball, baby. Let's go. Easy money. That's easy money right there. Okay. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. <laughs> it's really not that serious. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex that we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Can I walk around a little bit after this? Can I do some searching? Oh, ho, I said you passed a trial with flying colors and it seems you went and I forgot my... Oh, ho, I said you passed a trial with flying colors and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Storm Sage. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. It's cause for a commemorative photograph. <laughs> I went and she's like that. I gotta show them the grills. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Let's do it. A little bit of a slow start, you know, a little slow, a little slow. They got to teach you. It's about an hour or so, as you can see, where they're teaching you the basics of the game. So you know exactly what you need. You know, you, you know exactly what you need to know. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Oh, I will be. Come now. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Silene awaits our reporter headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Oh, that's a car. It got me. Okay, Kari, let's go. Okay, can I can I uh, get some drip? Uh, Anther, can I get some? Can I get some clothes? Not yet. Huh? Probably have to become one of them. Let's go ahead and talk to Silene so we can start buying some. Uh, we obviously we look terrible. We look, we look absolutely disgusting. I don't, like what, I don't even like what we got on. I don't want it. All right, Silene. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Hmm? Congratulations, you've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. 
I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Okay. Oh, we got some sandals too? Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Oh. When you're ready to get into your uniform, make sure to use the mirror in your quarters. Hey, right, let's go check it out. Let's go let's go get our uniform on. Hopefully I can change it though, because um I don't like I don't like how they're dressed. I've seen other people with like different outfits and stuff, so hopefully we can change it. But so far I'm I'm loving the gameplay. Okay. Uh, am I in the wrong house? Hey yeah. Yeah. Wrong house. Wrong house. <laughs> Definitely in the wrong house. Okay. I should check the icons more, huh? Okay, so we, we we got done with our first trial. Let's go ahead and get into the house. And then once we get into the house, we can change clothes. Do you want to change your outfit? I do want to change my outfit. Oh, okay. Color contacts, hazel gray. Um, perfect. Yes, I would like to go with this outfit. Oh, look at that. Okay, we looking a little fresh fresher. Kind of look like a Chanel. Kind of look like a ninja a little bit. A little ninja esque. I like it. But these dudes, they nobody. I mean, nobody knows how to do it uh, the Pokemon thing man this is definitely the beginning of the beginnings and of course she looks just like our uh, rival from the other games look how well our survey corpse uniform suits you it's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you I see you've changed regarding your accommodations you may continue to use the room you slept in last night you may wear this as well okay Silene oh oh give me the cap okay there goes the hat, looking slick, okay? Looks like I'm about to go take someone out for a taxi drive. <laughs> or like a Super Mario hat. Now present yourself to the commander. I almost got that like, yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that hat, y'all. And I forgot to tell y'all, you can see me switch to the green in the background just to commemorate Rowlet joining the squad. Let's go ahead and look around real quick. It's a brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. Okay. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. I will. Oh, Eevee. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Ha 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 ha. Real funny. Give me that Eevee now. Espeon, we need that Espeon quick and in a hurry. Oh, there he goes. I have been waiting for you. Why do my eyes go like that? I am Kamado, commander of the galaxy. Expedition team. <laughs> hmm, so you are Storm Sage. My commas are all out of place. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Yeah. Hmm, you've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Did he really did we really just try to like fight him? Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider. Who literally fell right out of the blue. 
the superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Storm Sage, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I will, my G. I've done this like 9, 10, 11 times. Trust me, I'll be fine. We may be in the past, but trust me, in the future, we be throwing all types of balls. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Thanks. <laughs> Perform well as a member of the survey corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you close toward that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. You oh, recipe. I've got a new recipe. And 3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Oh, thanks for the cash. Money, money. Finally got some money. Ain't nobody going to spend that on materials. We're going to get some clothes. A card. You are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Please do. Let's get the crafting. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. <laughs> Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Okay. All right, so we're gonna learn how to craft. Let's go do it. I wonder how much you can craft or how much materials if it's like legend of zelda it's gonna get real silly well done earning a place in our team my name is anthe i'm the local oh it's antha i'm the local clothier the professor asked that i ready you a change of clothes here you go i do hope they fit you received an everyday kimono a kimono i'm sorry guys i'm sorry kimono and a pair of everyday trousers I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. I will. I'm actually gonna come over to you, see what you kinda what you got. What you got cooking over there. This way to the craft work, Storm Sage. Can I go can I go over to Andy right now? See what she got. Hold on. Wonder if I get over here and they just like stop me. A special parcel arrived with your name on it. Okay. Let me get it. You received a shaman fancy kimono and a pair of shaman fancy bottoms. What a precious gift. Please take your care of such fine attire. Okay, can I? Oh, buy clothing. Flat cap. All right, let's see what we got. These are the everyday kimonos, different colors. Everyday trousers, different colors. Oh, it's expensive. Oh, the karate geese. Oh, ho, ho, look at these boys. Look at these karate geese. Yeah, we got to get the karate gi going. I don't know about that. I don't care about the sandals. Oh, I got to get a karate gi. I probably shouldn't buy a karate gi right now, right? Let's, let, let, let's see. Let's see how much haircuts are. My man's right here. Welcome, young man. What can I help you with today? Hairstyling. Let's get that hair going. Let's see what kind of hairs we got. 500 bucks. That's a lot of money. Go on and hold yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear. My dear. What sort of look would you like to go for? Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. The shorn. Oh, look at the curls. Okay. Braids. Oh, you could do the braids. The braids are serious, actually. 
All right, it's either that or the Shorn. Oh yeah, that 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 lineup is crispy. Got to go with the Shorn. Let's see here. Chestnut, black. Oh, there goes the white. Perfect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And then that's what I want. Okay. Confirm. Perfect. In every game, just to let y'all know, we always go with the white hair. White hair. And, um,. Either or you know white eyes or you know we always go with the white hair. Leave it off. Perfect. 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 Oh, there we go. Now we look more more like we're ready to rock. What's this guy? This must be the. Uh, Okay, that looks like ingredients. Here's the craft works. Let's go over to craft works now. You can use the workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Okay, we need... Okay, let's craft all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete. Perfect, we got May 20. Uh-ho, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy my boy <laughs> you'll recall of course that pokemon possess the eye power to shrink themselves down with the pokeballs we craft we can make use of that power to catch them also that more pokemon species can be duly recorded in a pokedex and on that note here you are so the pokedex is different than the arc phone okay so those are just two different entities hmm. we all know what the pokedex is Okay, we seen seven and caught four. Okay. What do you mean we seen seven? Oh, you know what? Because of cynical. Okay. Gotcha. Because we seen Togepi. Okay. Understood. Number caught. Research task for Togepi. Okay. Times you've given it food. Number you evolved. Perfect. So we got a kiss. What do we got to do with Rallet? So use leafage. Okay. So just use leafage a lot. Mm-hmm. Number you've evolved. Okay, cool. And then Shinx. What we gotta do with Shinx? I have seen it use quick attack like three times. Numbers defeated, so we gotta defeat some. We gotta defeat it. Okay, cool. I prefer I prefer I prefer this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well and you aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good Storm Sage. Okay, let's do it. We learning all of the background stuff, all of the little ins and outs. Well, hey, excuse me, I could help but over here. If you're going to the Fiddlelands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Oh, optional quest. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at Quack Quarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. Okay, perfect. What you got, boy? Boar, 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 boar guard. Hey. So there's this Pokemon called Warmbro. Have you heard of it? I have. Well, you see, I have a, I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some people, some Pokemon, not we know, we know about evolution. If you're watching this, we know about evolution. And so I decided I wanted to raise a Warmbro myself and have it evolve. You're part of the survey corpse, aren't you? If you catch a Wampo, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you. I promise, just give me a Wampo if you can. 
What you getting me? Some Terra Mana? Let's get some Terra Mana. Okay, we got a lot of quests. Is, is there any quests back this way? Nope. I might, yo, y'all, this might be the dumbest thing, but I might go ahead and rock that gi. I think I might need to get that gi going. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey couples must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Don't I have Starly? No? Okay, research level zero. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, let's get that gi going though. I think I want the gi by clothing. Let's see what I would look like. Look at, oh, look at the gis. Look at the shoes though, with the shoes. With those, uh, the, the, those Hisuian mocks, moccasins. Oh yeah, that's Sage Nightwork colors right there, baby. More of an orange though. Let me see. Ooh, look at that blue. Ooh, that's sexy. Okay. Um, blue spruce. Oh, Archer. Oh yeah. Wait, let's put what's the expert. Oh. Do I want expert or, or, or Archer? Let's do Archer. Boom. Oh, look at me. Oh, with the Hasuian moccasins. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we ready. Look at us, we ready to rock. That probably was the dumbest thing. Probably shouldn't have spent money on that, but who cares? Who cares? Who, who cares? I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corpse? If you could catch a sink, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. All right, so X. I like threw it. He literally, literally, I threw it out in front of him. He looked at it and then was like, uh, show him Shinx. Oh, look at that Shinx. That's it. Its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. It felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bones of thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. All right, what you giving me though? Three potions. I need some ingredients, G. Potions. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. We got our gear. We geared out. We got this Sui and Mox on. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. That's all I can go with is the field and the camps. Yo, look at me. I'm ready to fight. Look at me. Right, so let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedesk vase, there are a great many research tasks I need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex and check what kinds of research tags are available for Pokemon you've registered. When you are when you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tags for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tags, so be sure to check them out. 
You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of your research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Storm Sage. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Huh. Oh, dodge roll. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Look at me. I'm ready for dodging. Ken and Ryu, where are you? The security course I had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx Thundershot. But don't you worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on. I'll teach you plenty. Thanks, Akari. Oh. We're like, we're like the savior, though. Like, there's not really anybody else that's as sweet as us right now. Okay, so you can come back here. Switch up, buy items. Okay, let's go. You already know we, we, we leveling. We leveling the Shinx up right away. Now, let me share some Survey Corpse wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of like if you think about it in the new Final Fantasy, it's kind of like the idea of you have to, you know, we're trying to get all these species, all these things so that you can, you know, create and nurture and produce. I don't know what I'm talking about. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. All right, let's go ahead and go. Let's do it. Now, this has ZL. Number caught. One, three number of heavy specimens you've caught. Number defeated. Okay. Oops. The shanks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's defeat him. Attack. Eesh. Oh, it's, it's loafing. Hit him with another one. Quick attack. Eesh. Oh, it's loafing around again. Destroy it. Okay, keep going. Quick attack again. Quick attack again. <laughs> and his life, dog. Okay, Shinx. Yo, every what? experience share. Oh, so it don't matter. It it doesn't look like it really matters who I. Everyone gets gets experience. Okay. Oh, oh it wasn't a Pokeball. Look at that. We don't level the Shink up. We gotta get we gotta get our Shinx up. He's level two. Quick attack again. Uh-oh. That's super no. Oh, oh Shinx dodging. Okay. Hacks. Quick attack again. Bang. Alright. Sorry about that if y'all hear that. Someone's outside my window. I need to close my window. Okay. I got it. Thanks. I keep forgetting. Oh, level three. Look at that. Oh, you can run around. What's the dodge button? What's the dodge button? Um, how do you dodge? Throw it at him. Throw him the Pokeball, because we need to catch some too. Easy money. What is the um Oh you get you get stuff for catching them too. You get levels for catching. So you gotta go 25 times for a quick attack. Okay. So you, you can't you can catch them and then you still get experience. Okay, that's cool to know. 
What's the uh, dodge roll button? Why? Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's the dodge roll button. Got him. Get that Starly in here. Boom. Got him. Come on. Get in there. Easy. Let's go. Be a pro at this. Let's go over to her, see what she got to say. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research task for it. It's just ZL then down. Try checking your task for Starling next. One of your tasks is to catch Starling without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while I'm already ahead of the game, Akari. Try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I already did it. Damn. I'm ahead of the game. Sage wisdom. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. Okay. Good deal. I need my shinks, though. Like, I don't care about Bidoofs or Starlies. I need to up my shinks. Number you caught, three. So we need six of them. Number you caught without being spotted, two, and then five. Number defeated. Okay, number you've evolved. Number of times forms you've attained. Okay. Let's defeat some. Boom. Go ahead. Quick attack. Back again. Boom. Okay, she's doing damage down. No, don't run away. Okay, gotta defeat them. Oh, look. Oh, fighting from the top. Run, Starly. Oh, I ran away. Okay. Okay. I gotta try to defeat some. Boom. Warren berries. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, Shinx. There we go. There goes the Shinxy boys. Defeat some. Let's go, Shinx. Quick attack. Oh, we only gotta do it eight more times. <laughs> yeah, the quickest way to do some of these is to fight a Shinx, you know, fight a Shinx too. In that way. Oh, is that a critic? Oh, critic cow. Let's go. We gotta make sure. Oh, Shinx level five. We gotta, ooh, got a new move. Let's see what that means. Let's use that on Shinx. All right, so let's see. Let's go back to Shinx. Let's keep defeating them. Boom. Oh. I think we got. Ugh, why is this guy? Thundershot. That ain't going to do anything. Good time. That's half health in now. Oh, he that this this shit hurts. That's it. Whoa. Get it in. Jeez. Yeah, we quick attacking hard. Okay.
Boring berries, okay. What's the rocks you you supposed to throw? I haven't seen any rocks yet. Okay, additional leaks, okay. Can you pick up these? No, okay. These aren't, those aren't pickable. Either of those. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first star recruit. Then you'll probably be all right. Okay. All right. I don't know. I haven't seen any rocks or anything. Um, what do the orange berries do? A berry that can be fed to Pokemon for for 20 points. Gotcha. Use. So it's kind of like a health thing. Let's get. Okay. That Badoo didn't even look at that Warren Berry. Okay, that looks like something you can do. There it is. Tumblestone. Okay. Oh, level eight. You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tumblestones inside. The same tumblestones you need to craft Pokemon balls. Perfect. Oh, that a oh a weasel. Whizzle. Hit him with that leafage. I gotta do leafage more. That's right. You eat that. You eat that. Ah. Leafage. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see how like you just catch them and then they kind of just, it's just like a quick catch. Okay, it's like uh, kind of like, a, ooh, I got some stardust, got set up for some cake, some money. So it looks like it's uh, it's based off of proximity. So boom, got that, tumble stone. All right, number caught. Nope. Number of large specimens you've caught. Nope. Number defeated. Three. Number of time you defeated with electric type moves. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So we want Jinx. We want Shinx. Ow. Oh, is there two of them? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, gosh. I got to be careful. Good to know. I'll catch this one. It shouldn't, it shouldn't tell me whatever it is. Yeah, oh, God. Cool. Actually, I'm scared. Boom. Another shot. Got it. Love. Level love. Okay, we gotta. Whew. All right, cool. All right, let's keep looking around. All right, let's uh, pick up all these items. This is this is actually. I'm liking this. <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm getting a feel for the gameplay too. But doof here. Let's uh, let's catch it. Boom. Got it. Number caught six out of six. Nice. Oh, we caught three heavy specimens too. What do we, what else do we need for Starly? Is that tree bro? Okay. Orange berries. 
Number caught. We need three more Starlies. Number you've caught without being spotted, okay? Uh, we need three more. We need three more, and we need to defeat them. Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. Don't run. Ah, Starlies run away hard. It's hard to get those up. Boom. Okay, more tumble stones to create more Pokeballs. All right, what you got? What kind of info? Ooh, Ponyta. If you're feeling worn out, have a rest in a tent at one of our base camps. You can also rest there to pass some time. If it's nighttime and you're scared to be out surveying, the tent is a fine option. All right, thank you for that info. Ooh, Pony Toss. Definitely don't want to uh, put... Um... Boom. Level five. Thunder shot. Okay, don't. What does he got? Tackle. That's not bad. Ooh, that Ponyta hurt. Him. This ain't no slouch. You see, he's Pokemon or not no slouch. Oh, he's paralyzed. Hit him with another Thunder shot. And then we're going to hit him with a. Ooh, he has Ember. Put the pack. Got him. Defeated him. We gotta catch one now. Okay. Yeah, you know, guy. If if y'all know my playthroughs, you already know we got a cherry berry. You already know that. Um. Already know that Shinx. Uh, Shinx is my uh, home 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 skillet. Which one required for crafting medicinal compounds? This vegetable is found growing across the Hisui region. Okay, Wayfarer's friend. Better fed up on a cure is paralysis. Okay, we already know about those. Tumble stones. I sold at a low price. Ball of mud. A ball of mud that has become stiff and hard. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Grit dust. Mysterious dust that can raise the effort level for one of your Pokemon for one of the a Pokemon stats. It can be used to raise effort levels only up to level three, however. Spoiled Apricon. An apricot has had its insides eaten. Hitting a Pokemon one may stun the Pokemon. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we need... Okay. So, we're going to need that for the Starlies. Those spoiled Apricons. Oh, there we go. There goes the fast sprint. Okay. Okay. I, I just figured it out. Okay, we're going to try to catch these. Nope. Got it right on the head. Got that pony talk. Come on over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pony talk, come here. Yo, this is sick. I love, I love, I love the the free roam feel to it. I love it. It's really, it's really, uh, it's really immersive. Um, yeah, it's really immersive. I really like it. I'm, I'm really digging it so far. Oh, yeah, you got to put it just a little bit higher. You saw that drift, though? Hit him with that drift. Okay, I need the next one's 12. Oh, that was, that was a bad one. That wasn't a critical catch. Okay, still got it. Still got it. Okay, we just, we just having fun over here. Boom. Temple stones, okay. Yeah, I'm just exploring right now, to be honest. Like, oh, there goes Wurmple. That's what they were looking for. Let's get 12 of these. Oh, I didn't even do that. We can still catch it, though. Huh? Can I, um... What's the Pokédex? I guess there is no Pokédex. Up here is no Pokédex, okay. Bitch, hopefully this doesn't kill it. Oh, not even close. Okay, roll out. Deal with that gust. I shouldn't kill it. 
Yep, let me catch this one. Oh gosh, Rowlet. Oh man, that's right. <laughs> I forgot rollout. Rollout doubles in damage on that second boy. This should catch it though. It's a big doof. Shouldn't be a big issue. Let's get it. Pick it up. You wonder if it comes out of the Pokeball and just roll out. Just destroys my Rowlet. Okay. Level 10. Um, let's get a potion going. Rowlet. That's all it really needs. All right. Ooh, Wizzles. Let's, let, let's see what we need to do for these Beezles. I love that you can, um, while you're aiming, you can kind of switch between Pokemon. Okay, Orenberry. Uh-oh. Okay. Weasel. Number caught. We got to catch one. Um, numbers defeated. We got to defeat six for Weasel. Um, number uh, number you defeated with electric types and then continue to defeat with electric types. Ooh, we got bite already. Oh gosh. Let's go ahead and uh, is the, I'm I'm doing something wrong, huh? Or is that or my shame is just slow. I guess it is a boy girl. I should uh Ooh. I guess it is a boys, right? So they're 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 fast. Okay. Easy money. So in order to get, ooh, more, gotta catch one. Give me that worm, please. I like how you can like. Whoa, it came out? Give me that. Oh, we got it. We got this one. Okay. Got a spoiled apricot. Apricot. Or apric apricorn? Apricot. Get this one leaks. Oh, yeah, that one was, that one's caught. That one was sleeping. Huh? Here. You can just keep throwing Pokeballs at it, huh? Yep. Caught it that time. So what's up with the water? So you can't cross water. Uh, sir, please. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> that's 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 instant. Okay, gotcha. Don't do that again. Yeah, don't do that again, dog. Let's see what these are. These are new, right? Or let's see, horseshoe planes. Let's go ahead and get that. I probably can. Oh yeah. Let's go around here. Oh, I see another one. Where's my stamina bar, though? Oh, is that what's that? Okay, I see it. Whoa. Okay. Let's get away from that right now. Yo, look at that rapid dash. If I had a water Pokemon, maybe. Oh, look at that. Is it coming? Yo, that rapid dash is serious. Where's my stamina bar? I don't see it. All right, let's get these crystals. Boom. Oh, let's put on the jets. Okay. Gotta switch the shink. I'm gonna switch the rally here soon. Look at all of these, um, oh, the shinkses. What I gotta do with shinks? Gotta catch 
catch more and then defeat four and then i've seen the i've done the quick attack one already time you've seen it use bite okay we gotta do bite next number number you've evolved you gotta evolve it three times crazy number defeated okay so we gotta defeat some and catch more okay gotcha uh -oh. it's angry let's uh use boom let's go let's bite Bite, have a bite battle. That's a dark move. Eesh, eat him. Yo, that bite animation is just, it, it's like undefeated. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. We gotta keep catching him. That's an easy catch right there. Just bite once and catch it. Still putting in work. Man, my dude has no defense. Zero. He's getting like these quick attacks is pumping him. That's an easy catch right there. Yeah, this is like this gameplay, just to let y'all know. This gameplay is super soothing. Like it's just we're just really just out here just chilling, grabbing materials. And it's real soothing, man. I see like level 10 starts getting a little harder to level up. Huh? I just love how it, uh, I love how it did that. Go. We got it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, let's see what's next. Ooh. Boom. Should be a quick catch. Look at these critical look at, look at these long range from from downtown from downtown oh then it just runs got it easy money Come out, please. Oh. <laughs> these long range boys, though, these are long range ones right here. Got it. That's easy. I felt like that was a critical. Yeah, okay. Right, Rallet. Switch over to Rallet for this experience. See what she got to say. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Boizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Yeah, we've already fought a couple. Trust me. Trust me. That means it'll try to hit you with his moves, just like Shanks, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. 
And speaking of which, your research has revealed that in close seeing it use a certain move. To be, to be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of the Weasel's research tasks and come talk to me. I've already done that. Let me see if I can get it to learn that certain move. about to get shot my brother weasels don't win gonna shot yeah I can bite I can bite and then uh to shot just to show them just to do the bug to do both research see any let's go back to her we've already done i've already done some of these we're ahead of the game baby i don't see any stamina so it looks like you can pretty much it looks like it kind of slowed down eventually uh, coins, perfect all right what you gotta tell me you're really doing quite well for yourself here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Nice, Sue. That's nice. A kit containing everything you need might need for crafting. Even when there is no work picture. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items whenever and wherever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel. And you won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Oh, I needed that. Medicinal herb, medicinal leek, and an orange berry. Perfect. We need those. With the crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So as long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leek, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. Will do. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish and can report. Tasks with unreported data, 39, okay. Please report back to Professor Lavington once you've got some research tasks good and done. Yeah, I got 39, okay, let's go back. Starlies, I haven't been able to beat any. Let's, let's try that item though, um, this one right here. Oh, it, it should be, huh? Oh, wow. Well, you can use it to catch them, I guess. What a drag. I thought you can like, I thought it would be stunned as soon as I can. Oh, level up. Am I gonna get another move? I was about to say. It's about time for a new move. All right, let's go ahead and move over here. Let's go back, get some research going. I feel like, can I go up? Can I go up steep mountains? Let's check these mountains real quick. Let's see if we can go up. Yep, okay. We can traverse a little bit. We can mean them leaks. Ninny leaks. Oh, are these flowers anything? They look like they would be. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Carver's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research task you completed thus far. Man, it's no reporter by. Perfect. 
Total Pokemon card 24, 20 or more Pokemon in one report. Achieve different Pokemon species card five. Pokemon card for the first time. Five Pokemon card using a backstrap. Three. R reward for this. Ooh, 2853. Let's go. Give me that money, please. Mm hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Research level eight, okay. Research level for Bidoof is 10. Okay, so we need some more for Starly, Ponyta, Wormpools. Okay. And Rallet. Rallet, Rallet will get it. What do we gotta do? Oh, I mean, you. I, we just got needed to use Leafage more. Easy money. I don't want to go back in yet. You've made good progress on these research tasks, don't Sage. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news, Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Oh, it makes you go all the way back. I wanted to go back, do some more leafages, go ahead and get Ponyta. Um, a little bit more Ponytas, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll progress. All right, let's go ahead and progress. Let's go ahead and get that one star rank. Start taking on more stuff. I feel like there's some warm pull things I need to do for one guy. We'll, we'll wait till the one star. We'll, we'll, get, we'll turn one star first, you know. We already know what we are. Silene, give me that. Give me that upgrade. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Let's go. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. New rank. Let's go. It's that Sage one star, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it in. Got the gi on, ready to assure you can someone. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your order to rely on in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. You can obtain a recipe for crafting heavy balls. <laughs> I don't need a recipe for that. A recipe for crafting heavy balls from scratch. One apricot and one black tumble stone. Of course, of course it's a, you need a black tumble stone for that. You obtain a recipe for crafting revives. You crafting revives from scratch. A vivichoke and a med two medicinal leeks. I haven't seen no vivichokes. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us is like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it. Many of you did fall from the sky. People may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Let's go. Getting to work on research time. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. I love how we're, like, working to survive right now. Like, we're, we're basically homeless, and we're catching Pokemon to live. Like, if we don't catch Pokemon, we don't eat. You know, it's like, it's like we're out here surviving. So, Storm Sage, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey corpse duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on a request from Beauregard? Pretty sure I did. The people of Jewel Life aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if Pokemon or if problems arise, the survey corpse gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, 
but other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Stormstretch could handle it for me. I was told it, was, it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, uh, yes. That request came from Maya, the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Okay. So that's it the next day. The next day. Look at the gi. The gi, the fit is... the. the I know I've said it a couple times, but the fit is like... It's giving everything. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pass or to chain up your team. Whoa, she seems serious. You see that face? She's ready to duke it. She's ready to fight. Let's go. And that, my fellow sages, is the end of episode two. We're going to go ahead and help Akari out with her. Whatever this task is, she seems pretty serious. We're going to have to go take care of her. We're going to check out the pastures, check out what we can also buy get our get our fit looking even more righteous so i want you guys to check you guys on the next one again hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're loving the pokemon content and i'll see you guys on the flip side and remember always follow your ninja way my fellow sages hidden in the mountains <laughs>